Tony. Uh, hello. Oh, sorry, Welcome to Star me. Test, the personality game. Please make yourself comfortable, relax, and enjoy yourself. Actually, perhaps I'll just get rid of this pink ball that's hanging over my shoulder because it's getting dead irritating, as you can probably imagine. Here are nine categories of questions. <laughs> okay. Please select a category by simply touching the screen. Let's have health and happiness. I just don't know how about number three. How important is what you wear and why? How important is what you wear and why? Um, hmm. I mean, we're all getting pilloried for our, in our group because we put such a big emphasis on the way we looked. I mean, I guess the Sputnik, the way we looked and kind of said more as, as much about the attitude of the group as, as the music, really. And I was, you know, I like to wear kind of the clothes for the occasion. You know, I was thinking it's like if you're going to play football, you wear football stuff. So, and if you're going to be in Sputnik, you wear sort of funny Sputnik stuff. And um, if you were going to be um, controller of BBC Two television, for instance, you'd wear even funnier gear as well. Um, so clothes are really important, yes. And here I am, rather um, attractively dressed, I like to think. Let's try another number. Let's try number eight. How happy would you be if no one knew anything about you? Um, hmm, a bit difficult asking someone who's involved in the same game. Um, hard, hard to tell. Um, probably. I mean, I actually spend quite a lot of time um, in Yorkshire where we go quite a lot of weekends and we just go um, walking and sit around where sort of no one knows who we are. And um, I'm really quite contented, actually, just sitting in the middle of the Yorkshire Dales. It's um, quite an experience, really. The opposite, because it's the opposite of rock and roll completely, you know, instead of having some television and going to parties and leading all those exciting pop star life that all you people at home wished you were leading. Um, just sitting there in, in a field in the Yorkshire Dales is fantastic. It's a religious experience. So, um, yeah, I kind of don't mind it then. It's nice. In fact, it's a plus, really. Number 14. What do you do when you can't sleep at night? What do I do? Well, what I do is, um, I wake up my girlfriend, much to her irritation, and um, I go through, over and over again, in, in tedious and boring detail, um, all the things I'm worried about, which is usually a major list of things, you know, why the record's not being a hit, why, you know, why the record company's not funny, why the group are difficult, all those sort of things, you know, I mean, why I've got blisters on my finger, you know, why, why the, I don't like football, stuff like this. Um, and then we go over it, and usually I just fall asleep uh, at, at the moment that she's wide awake. And then, um, then I really get it in the morning. We'll try number 15, although well, I don't like this category. How much do you abuse your body? Um, I'd like to think I'm really, really um, nice to this body, um, uh, especially it's the only one I've got, and um, I guess I'm stuck with it. Um, I mean, it's ta it has taken some abuse, I've got to admit. I mean, you know, I've had to have, like, you know, contact lenses, because behind these glasses of contact lenses, these are sort of fashion accessories, as they were. Um, you know, I had to have me all my teeth capped. I mean, in fact, I think I've had every bit you can have fixed. Actually, sometimes I wonder whether my whole body needs capping. Um, probably sort it right out. It's one of those things. But you have to do all that stuff when you're in a pop group, don't you? Please select a new category by touching the screen. Let's try before and after. I should have cut my nails before I came on. I'm sorry about this, Mum. Right. Oh. Can I choose number six? What would you like to have been if you'd had a different career? I'm glad you asked me this one. When I was at school, I was always brilliant at cheating at maths. So I'm told the ideal um, career for someone who's, who's great at cheating at maths and fiddling expenses will probably be um, a film producer or television producer. So um, I think something like that. Let's have number... number 14. Did you ever run away from home? Um, when I was about 25, I did run away from home, and I, um, I have to admit, it was a great distress to Mum and Dad, who I know are going to be tuning in and watching this program. Um, but it's one of those things you just have to do eventually, um, is, is leave home. So it's been OK. Um, I still, still wish I could send me washing at home. There's something about the way Mums do washing. You know, when it all comes back, it's all kind of like nice and fluffy and kind of like in the drawer, and you can't shut the drawer and everything. Let's have number five. What music would you like played at your funeral? What music would I like played at my funeral? Um, uh, I think something jolly. I think Sid Vicious's version of I Did It My Way. Number 10. 
What is your earliest memory? It's funny, I can, I can remember a real long way back. Um, there was always this cartoon on television, which always used to make me cry, where they used to put this man through the mangle with when people, before people had spin drives and things. They used to sort of, you've probably seen it in those television programs when they kind of put things. Anyway, there was this kids' TV program, and my mum and gran will be remembering this as I speak, where they put this man through the mangle. He kind of, kind of came out like a, a cardboard figure, and it was like, completely frightening. So that's probably the earliest thing. I think I was about um, two months, really. I was television literate, even at that age. Who is your favourite author? I think Gary Bushell, for his very witty and um, creative column in The Sun every day. Who is your favourite film director? I think probably Richard Attenborough for Gandhi. Who is your favourite cartoon character? Um, to be terribly trendy, I think it's going to have to be the Joker, and I certainly can't wait to see Jack Nicholson portraying the man. What car do you drive? I'd like to think of it as um, a budget-priced Mercedes. Which is your favourite city? Hmm. I suppose New York, although actually after I've read so much about it recently, I'm almost too scared to go there. What colour is your bedroom? What colour is the bedroom? Um... Hmm, it's kind of oak, ochre colour, I think, with um, some rather nice Piranesi prints on the walls. Which is your favourite movie? Favourite movie? Um, well, being a big Zig Zig Sputnik fan, which of course I am, um, it's going to have to be A Clockwork Orange or Robocop, I'm afraid. Um, I hate those black and white art films. <laughs> The greatest cause of misery? God, it's those damn caravans on the M1, isn't it? Don't they drive you mad? I mean, I, I think they ought to pass like a special law that um, only lets people with um, cars that cost over £10,000 use the outside lane in a, in a motorway. I'm sure it would make it much life much easier for um, people like me who are, you know, are often very short of time on a Friday evening, whizzing their way up to Yorkshire. Yes, so um, I think I'd have to say it's caravans. Either that or you could put them all in the Isle of Wight and build a huge wall around it and keep them all there. Try number 12. How much integrity do you have? Integrity? Well, quite, that's a quite laughable question, really, isn't it? I mean, especially if you were a, uh, a music journalist writing about Zig Zig Sputnik, a group that seemingly would, seemingly would have no integrity. But I like to think, and I don't care what you write about us, I would like to think that we always played the music the way we wanted it to be, did exactly what we wanted to do. Remember, we haven't got a manager telling us what to do. We manage ourselves so that we control our own destiny. So I'd like to think that we've been completely true to ourselves. And you'll see in the passing of time that Zig Zig Sputnik was a great group that did have great integrity. I'm sorry about this, I have to put a plug in for the group every now and again. 